Sounds. YouTube, it's Cuddle of Death here. Hey, happy day, woo! And we are back with another episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby Navlock. In the previous episode, we took on Watson's gym. Obviously, we defeated him, otherwise, there would not be another episode of this. And uh, I'm gonna very quickly start off by showing y'all all my party. And the question of this video is hey, where'd you get that body from? Let me know down in the comment section below. So we have Nikita, our nice little Ninkata here. Level 19, uh, very soon she will evolve and become two separate Pokemon, assuming we do have a slot in our party. We have Kamikaze the Voltorb, uh, Maria the Dustox, Gumbo the Nuzleaf, and Fangry the Mariana, as well as Dan the Surskit. Um, before I do leave Malville, there are a few things that I would like to pick up. As you guys can see, I am sitting in front of the Pokemart, which I'm going to just, you know, go ahead and get one of my nice fun stuffs here that could potentially help us with the next gym. For those of you who don't know, the next gym leader is a fire type. So we are going to spend 10,000 Poke Dollars on Bulldoze, a ground type move. I'm not sure if anyone can learn it. I'm actually going to check very quickly. Otherwise, we do have a potential to get a Pokemon that can learn it. Nope, no one can learn it right now. But we have a potential to capture a Pokemon which can learn Bulldoze prior to the next gym. Uh, we did receive the Volt Switch TM from Watson in the previous episode. So we're actually going to go ahead and teach that to Kamikaze. Uh, let me see what we actually have so we can get rid of it. And uh, tech speed. Let's see. That could be useful, but... I think we're going to get rid of Eerie Impulse. So, uh, now that that's gotten over with, my freaking tech speed, I have to fix it again. <laughs> the only reason why I have to fix it uh, is because after the previous episode, I forgot to save. <laughs> so after we defeated Watson, I forgot to save, so fun times. But there we go. There we go. Uh, there's another thing. Let me see if I remember how to get up to this. Get up to this little area. We need to access the upper floor of Mauville. Um, because we did just drop a lot of money. There's actually a guy up here who will get you a free... Or he will give you a free nugget. Is it over this way? I believe it's this way. Is it this way? Maybe it's not this way. It's one of these ways. Okay, there we go. Ha ha! <laughs> We get our free nugget. Okay, hand please. Uh, that's so freaking disturbing how he, how he like does that. Like that's mm, strange to danger, strange to danger. A mighty fun nugget. Mighty fun. A mighty fine nugget. I can't read all yours now. Just runs off. Hope it pans out for you. You know, like panning gold, like it pans out. There's nothing funny about nuggets. The word nugget is funny. You, you guys can't tell me that it's not funny because the word nugget definitely, indefinitely, the word nugget definitely is indefinitely funny. <laughs> it's just a great word. It is just a great word. Um, I do definitely, I'll use it again, need to deposit a Pokemon on the PC since Nikita is very close to hitting level 20. Nivel <laughs> 20! And uh, since it's going, she's going to shed her skin and become a Shedinja, as well as a Ninjask, we are going to need to create a little bit of a spot here. Uh, also, between the previous episode, I did talk about how I had level 100s in the death box because they were used for the UCL. I actually went ahead and released them because I got tired of looking at them, so they're gone. Um, so who do I want to temporarily deposit? I believe I'm going to temporarily deposit Dan. I'm going to temporarily deposit Dan as the... Uh, the freaking Shedinja is on its way to get birth, essentially. To get, that's a fun word to say, birth. Anything that ends with T-H-E-D is so freaking difficult to say. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> where are we supposed to, uh, where are we going again? It's Mount Chimney. Stay spaced down, you'll get scolded by Maxie. Mount Chimney. It'll be a long walk going along Route 112 to get there. I wish I'd brought some snacks. Smoke, but smoke, cause smoke weed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what I pictured whenever, like, that guy was just spaced out. The Team Magma Grunt was just completely freaking spaced out there. Uh, if you... You know what? We just did not sell... Ah, uh, we don't need to... 
let me check how many balls. I was gonna say, we don't need to sell that nugget yet, but I actually forgot and neglected to check how many balls we have. We have ten. Okay, so good thing I checked that because because I neglected my nugget. I neglect. I almost neglected getting more pokeballs. We do not want to screw up encounters, uh, cause that could be very costly. Why am I even going this way? So always check and make sure you got your balls ready. <laughs> If your balls aren't ready, then you're not ready. So keep that useful information in mind. How we're gonna sell our nugget here. Sell our nugget and get some nice new shiny balls. That's just fantastic to say. And we have lots of money, so we can we can get plenty of balls right now. Uh gonna get ten at a time as usual, just because extra premiere balls. And as you guys may or may not know if you're new just now tuning in. I hate using anything above normal catch rate balls. I like a challenge. So, there we go. Um, 50, 50 balls total. 50 Pokeballs plus the Premier Balls are exactly what I, exactly what I want. I need to check something really quick. Alright. So, uh, <laughs> let's head back up here. Do I want to do I want to terrorize the Winstreet family, the little family that lives in a house up here? Do I want to terrorize them? Oh, I don't know. I think I want to do it. I think I'm going to do it. We're going to take on the Winstreets. Hello, I take it you're a traveler. What do you say about taking on our family of four in a series of Pokemon battles? So yeah, let's take them on. That's the spirit. I like you. So we're going to take on the first member of the Winstreet family, which is Victor. Oh man, the Winstreet- Oh, that's not good. Uh, the Winstreet family is very interesting with their naming scheme. Uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of the Winstreet family. So, uh, for this, we're definitely gonna go into Kamikaze because... Tailo? Tail, no. Tail, no! Uh, those, those puns. Focus energy, you're gonna need all the crits for all of this stuff. Um, let's go for charge beam. And he goes for quick attack, he's gonna get a crit. No. Yeah, that was, I was about to say, is that a critical hit? Because it's, eh. It's okay, because, I mean, Kamikaze is about to rank up some experience here. Decent amount of experience. I still need to figure out when he evolves. Zigzagoon? Um... Definitely gonna go back into Nikita for this. Gonna go into Nikita for this because Nikita is still the lowest level outside of Dan, who is temporarily boxed. Otherwise, we would not be able to get a Shedinja. Because you can only get it once or whenever you choose to allow your Nikita to evolve to Ninjask. I believe Cut will do the most damage. Mudsport. <laughs> hey, we could. S okay, if you wanna start mudslinging here, we can mudsling back. I don't care. We're used to mudslinging. We are used to mudslinging and not the political kind. We're used to literal mudslinging. We are used to literal mudslinging because Nikita is, I mean, that kind of person. Also, I received a comment in the previous episode because I referred to Nikita as an assassin bug, but I wasn't actually, okay, I wasn't actually referring to Nikita as the species of insect known as the assassin bug. Someone's like, it's a cicada, not an assassin bug. So let me explain to you, person, because you're probably watching this episode as well, what I meant by that. Nikita is the name of an assassin in the series, the uh, series which I think is still available on Netflix in the US, called Nikita. And that's what it's named after because I I really like I really like Ninjask. Ninjask is a ninja, so I tied ninjas with assassination, so what better name than Nikita? So I didn't mean literal species, assassin, assassin bug. Um, Nikita, nin, <laughs> I just mixed Nikita and nin, Ninkata. Ninkata is a cicada. Someone tried to tell me, Ninkata is a cicada in the comment section. I'm like, I know this. But I forgot that the assassin bug is a literal like species and those things are mean. Oh. My goodness, if you've ever messed with an assassin bug, you know exactly why they have their name. Aha! You're stronger than I thought. I used to love bugs whenever I was a freaking kid. And Nikita is evolving. I used to love bugs as a kid. But as I got older, I became more scared after getting bitten and stung by so many different things. I love bumblebees, like the little furry 
little chubby, fat, cute little bumblebees, but do not mess. I do not want to mess with wasps. And we got our ninjask. And it wants to learn double team. I like the thought of that, but what are we going to get rid of? We're going to get rid of sand attack. We're going to do that. Sand attack, the thing is, is that is a really tough choice there normally. Sand attack would benefit the entirety of the team because, you know, obviously we could use that to, you know, send a ninja ask sand attack a few times and then swap out if we had to, but I decided for double team. Fury Cutter. Uh, we're going to get rid of Leech Life for this because Leech Life only does 20 damage, whereas Fury Cutter, as long as you continue to use it, for those uh, who don't know, its power will actually build up. We're not going to learn Screech, which is a useful move, again, for the overall team and the concept of having a Nuzlocke. Hey, y'all! I've found a pretty strong trainer. But we're not learning Screech because, I mean, it's four move syndrome and I think we're okay right now. My goodness, aren't you young? You must be quite the trainer to beat my husband, though. Now, I suppose it's my turn to battle. It indeed is your turn to battle. So the first guy's name was Victor, and this is Victoria. And she has a smoochum on the front of her magazine. I wonder what kind of magazine that is. Um, so we have our brand new ninja ask right here, right now. Right here, right now. Uh, and we can actually do some neutral damage here with Fury Cutter. Although Cut might have been a better option. Nope, Fury Cutter's gonna be fine. Guys, you're just gonna mega train us anyways. So... Fury Cutter is definitely a good choice here. Uh, plus, we have speed boost every turn, which Ninjask is probably going to outspeed mostly everything anyways. Especially as it keeps leveling up. The thing about Ninjask, though, is that it is hella frail. It's super frail, so it's literally meant to get in, do damage, and get out. Hopefully live. Ooh -wah! <laughs> What is that word? Ooh -wah! Ooh -wah! Just how strong are you? <laughs> I don't know what the heck that word is. Oh my goodness. We've got a strong trainer here. This one's really strong. Okay, so this is a little girl. You're stronger than mom? Wow! But I'm strong too. Really, honestly. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, This is member number three. VV. So we have Victoria, or Victor, Victoria, and VV. Coming all the way from Final Fantasy IX, VV has decided uh, to go through quite the transition and uh, now we have a female VV. I am not hating though. Do whatever makes you happy. Whew. Do whatever makes you happy and I know that this Goldeen's about to not be happy because Kamikaze's here. I didn't want to deal with Peck. So why don't we go for Charge Beam? Charge Beam move. Because, uh, thankfully, this thing did not have lightning rod. <laughs> that would have not been fun. That would have not been fun at all. Definitely would have not been fun. Uh, Neumol, another Pokemon that we sort of don't really have much to deal with using. Ah, we need a Pokemon that can combat stuff like Neumol. We don't really have a good Pokemon. Like, Surskit, yeah, but it's neutral damage, which I guess is better than super effective. And, uh, speaking of neutral damage, we have Fangry here. But, I mean, Magnitude can deal a decent amount of damage. We're gonna have to bite and hope for the flinch here. If you get, like, Magnitude 9, Magnitude 10... Ooh, that was nice. Don't get the burn, please. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Look at Fangry's little happy smile. Fangry's like, you know what? I was the first Pokemon to join the Navlock team. I'm gonna be here. I'm just here. And I will always be here. Shroomish. Um... We have Fire Fang. F -f -f Fire Fang. You know, I'm starting to think that it might be a better idea to swap out Maria for. Uh, I almost said Masquerade. For, um. For Dan, because going into a Masquerade later at whatever level, I actually really need to look that up. I need to see what level Masquerade. We end up getting Masquerade. Um, yeah, but. Having that instead of Maria would definitely be a little bit helpful. We do have a lot of bugs right now. We are seriously a bug catcher, especially now. Huh? Did I really lose? Uh, especially now we have a lot of uh, bug Pokemon. This stinks. <laughs> Grandma! Ah, no! That's so sad, but... Ha! 
How dare you make my precious granddaughter cry? I see I need to teach you a lesson. Prepare to feel the sting of defeat. So, um, Masquerade. What level do you come into play here? 22. We are very close to that, actually. What level are we? Were we 19? Yeah, 22. So 22 would be a good level. And on top of that, the problem is it doesn't really learn a good move until like way later. It's it's I just looked at its moveset, guys, and it's really not that great. Like, ugh. Um, Metatite. Metatite can be problematic. Let's go for a Fury Cutter, I guess. Because it's neutral. Confusion. Okay, I don't like the damage that it did there, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Uh, because a critical hit, which can happen at any second, and especially if you're doing a Nuzlocke, critical hits are not your friend unless they're from your Pokemon. Uh, we're gonna be safe. You can never be too safe. I cannot preach that enough. And please do not confuse Nikita. Sweet. Looking good. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that technically I don't believe that this counts as consecutive because we did heal, so it'll... Apparently it does consider it consecutive. Alright. I need to say no more about that. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't believe that this is going to consider it consecutive, therefore... Uh, Fury Cutter is actually going to do the same damage as the first, but apparently it doesn't matter if you use an item in between. So, just found that one out. That's uh, good to know. Definitely good to know. Mary is level 24. Whoa! So strong! My granddaughter wasn't lying! So we just racked up a decent amount of um, money there. If you're not in any hurry, visit us a while. Uh, there's actually an item that you can get in here. It is the Macho Brace. Uh, you get it by speaking with the little lass here. So, um... Oh, never mind. I lied, guys. You get it from speaking with the... Is it the mother? Yeah. The Macho Brace. This will make your Pokemon very slow, but it will actually gain effort values, if you know what that is, a little bit faster. So, have fun with the Macho Brace. Uh, we're gonna go back. And do some normal healing really quick before we do proceed. Before we do proceed um, to go up the route. Since we do have some captures coming up soon. And hopefully we do get lucky. Hopefully we do get lucky with things. Uh, I would love... Do I want a Numal or a Machop? Machop sounds really good. The first route that we're going to come up to. We have a choice of a Numal or a Machop. Then there is the cave, and I cannot remember if that's a different if that's a different route or the same route on the other side. But it has like Ponyta, Numel, and Machop. Uh, but I think at this point in time, I would really like to get Machop. I would like that to be to be my uh, next next capture, which we have a good chance of getting it. But it could be a Numel, who knows? Ah, you know what we forgot? We totally f <laughs> Yo, okay, I'll take it. That's more money. We totally forgot to get our, um, Masquerade back out. And I just thought of something as well. That, um, the Shedinja, which is not on the layout right now because it doesn't have a nickname or anything. And as of right now, we don't really have a use for it. And in your opinion, could we ever use it? Because technically, like, if you want to get technical, we didn't use the Dexnaf to get it. But it is from one of our Pokemon, which is a Dexnaf, so... So, should we be allowed to ever use Shedinja, the Pokemon with 1 HP, always? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm actually gonna deposit it for now. Um, and we're gonna get, we're gonna get Dan back out. I think I called Dan Maria, but yeah, we're gonna, we have our Shedinja in here. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool Pokemon. If you guys don't know how Shedinja works, because surprisingly a lot of people don't, it has the ability Wonder Guard, so only super effective hits can kill it. But with it having 1 HP, you cannot switch it in on things like... Uh, I know that some of these will be obvious to you guys. You can't switch it in if there's stealth rocks out because rocks are super effective against its typing. It will die, like ghost will kill it, flying will kill it, fire will kill it, kill it with fire. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a, a few things that will take Shedinja out. So as of right now, it, I don't find it to be like all that useful. I need to take a quick look at my TMs again. I need to take a quick little gander at my TMs. Um, 
You know, Aerial Ace might have been a good one to have. What, what did we get? How much money do we even have? Because we just sold stuff. We got a new star piece. We can't currently go back and purchase. I believe that was Aerial Ace that was offered. Even if we did sell the star piece. Let's get another one. Let's get lucky. Ha ha ha! I'm a freaking baller. That's freaking awesome. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Uh, oops. Didn't mean to do that. I don't know where you're going, but would you like to battle? Uh, where's the no option? I just want the no option. Picnic or Irene? Plessel. Yeah, we don't want Surskit out against it. We do not want Dan out. It's okay, we can swap. We can swap Dan. Actually, I actually forgot what moves we got. And, oh, at least we have Bubble Beam. That will be good for Masquerade once Dan has evolved. Um... I guess I'll swap in the Gumbo for Razor Leaf. Gumbo seems to be a pretty good Pokemon right now, and I'm wondering... I still have not checked where I can get a Leaf Stone, the earliest possible Leaf Stone. I should be looking that up right now while we're doing this battle. <laughs> Man, smartphones have really changed the game. Some people hate that. Some people hate the fact that you can just, you know, easily look stuff up now. Let me tell you about the 90s and being on the internet then and, and looking up walkthroughs. There's something nostalgic about that. Okay, so... Um... I'm really surprised. Gumbo has been putting in a lot of work. I am not even going to lie about that. I am not even going to lie. So for Illumise, we're going to switch Dan back in. Get the extra experience. Uh, I don't think that there's anything Illumise can do that will completely destroy us. Now that I think about it. So I guess we'll bubble beam. See how much damage that does. Yeah, that barely did anything. But how much damage will we do? I can't imagine we'll do very much. Well, we, we did just a little bit more than what it did. I, I'll take it. I suppose I'll take it. I will take that. I will definitely take that. Can we get some crits? And especially if we're going to go for sweet scent. Uh... So, as far as getting the Leaf Stone, I totally forgot that you can do it through the Super Training. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Hmm. Oops. Sorry if you guys heard that. I just hit my mic. I hit my mic cable. Oh, uh, we're gonna heal up. We're gonna heal up here. I want the full XP. I want the full XP from Illumise on Dan. You know, a perfect place to train Dan would literally be on the uh, Numals, now that I think about it. It would definitely be on the Numals. So, I mean, that's literally an insta-kill. Four times effective. Look at that. Oh, look at the damage! Time to take away this one or two HP! And Illumise is down and out. <laughs> yes! We did it. Uh, so, two more levels, two more levels. Those mas nivels. I don't know why I always go back and say it in Spanish, but... Ah, well. Oh, you're disgustingly good. I want Electrode. I'm pretty sure it's at level 30. Um... Okay, so let us first get off of this. Uh, we need to put up some repels. We have eight left, and on top of that, we also need a higher level Pokemon up front. I don't remember what the maximum is in this area, but I don't want to step in the grass and accidentally run into something else. Because fun fact, for again, Pokemon knowledge that you guys may or may not know, the way that repels work, because some people were complaining like, Oh, I used to repel, I have like a level 15 in the front of the party and I still run into Pokemon. It's also based off of, that's what I was going to get to, it's based off of the level of the first Pokemon in your party. So, by having a high level that's not obtainable in this area, like level 27, for example, which is what we have, you will not run into a Pokemon using a Repel. So you can safely Dex Nav. Congratulations, you're running! <laughs> okay. So let's uh, head over here, and this might take a little bit of time. Hmm? 
Do not battle me, I swear. So, it's you, Kristen. You see that mountain up there? That's Mount Chimney. Looks pretty hot, I guess, literally. I don't know, but seeing it for real is like... Like a punch in the gut, you know? No, 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 no. Ooh, I don't want to... Ooh, I hate that feeling. Hope I might get to take the cable car up top someday. Up to the top. Hey, Kristen, doesn't your team seem a bit worse for wear? Here. Oh, pfft, pfft, pfft. Your team's worse for wear. And why don't you take this? We get uh, HMO 4 strength, which will be fantastic, especially if we get him a chop. I bet you can find all kinds of ways to use it in the mountains that lie ahead. Oh, but it won't work here if you don't have the badge from Lava Ridge Gym. Bah, this is no time to be giving you tricks. I'm supposed to be heading for Fall Arbor. I hate that. Uh, to visit Professor Cosmo right now. See you later, Kristen. Next time, let's have a battle, okay? So yes, there's uh, on Route 112, there's only Machop and Numel. Who are we going to get? Who will we get? This might take a little bit, uh, guys. For one of these Pokemon. So let's see who we end up- And that's Machop. I am happy to hear that. I am very happy to hear this. So, uh, let's run into this Machop here. This is our encounter for this route. Now we just have to catch it. Now we just gotta catch it. Well, the problem is- this is probably where I will deposit Maria, assuming we do capture this thing. So, um... Did I not have false wipe? Did I not teach someone false wipe? I swear I did. Maybe it was in my- maybe I was just dreaming. Um... Okay, so we definitely... Don't want to use anything from you. Ugh. I swear I taught someone false light, but I guess not. So we're gonna swap into Dan. I'm a little bit nervous because Machop can deal a decent amount of damage. I don't know if it has Rock Tomb. I really hope it doesn't. I don't know if it would have a Rock Tomb move right now, but if it does, Dan's gonna take a decent amount of damage. Goes for Foresight. Bubble Beam should not kill it. Should take it down into the yellow. Otherwise, we have Quick Attack. We're just gonna go for Bubble Beam. I don't believe it's going to kill it. Okay. Perfect. Seismic toss. Uh, that could be very useful later on. So, now that it's in the yellow, I am going to attempt to catch it. And you know what? I'm going to toss Premier Ball because we have it. So why not? Why not? And he doesn't want to stay in the ball. Did, did I? I swear I had a false swipe. It's gonna drive me nuts. Uh, might as well actually swap our Pokemon again, though. I don't know if he has a Rock type move yet. I don't know if he's got a Rock type move. So we're gonna temporarily go into Maria just to be safe, or attempt to be safe, I should say. Rock type move would make me not safe, uh, but we'll try. I'm so used to having false swipe. Maybe it's just from hunting shinies. Okay, so let's try to capture you. And maybe it'll stay in the ball. <laughs> maybe it will stay in the ball for us. Please? Please? Yes! Nice! He's in... Okay. What am I gonna name you? I think I'll just name you John Cena! And Gumbo wants to learn a high critical hit ratio move, Leaf Blade. Um, it's 90 versus 55. The only difference is outside of the power is the... Oops, hold on. Uh, is... The accuracy is 100, the critical hit is up, and it is a contact move. So, if you use it on a Pokemon that has static, you're probably gonna get paralyzed. That's the bad part about it, but you know what? Screw it. So yeah, I believe I'm gonna name this John Cena. Or we'll just name him Cena. No, we're gonna name him John Cena, like full, full on. Gonna be John Cena. You will be dubbed John Cena. 
Okay, I'm so happy. Um, the only thing that would make this even better is a really good natured one, but it doesn't really matter about the nature at the end of the day since, I mean, we can't really do anything. This is our capture, so... The thing is, I would love to go pick up John Cena from the box really quick, so I am gonna do that and I will see y'all back in a moment. Okay guys, on the way back <laughs> to the spot that I last left off uh, after running to the Pokemon Center, I ran into this trainer. Um, I did teach Full Swipe to my Ninjask and I taught John Cena a, a new move. I got him Bulldoze, so I was very happy to be able to teach him that. So, uh, we're gonna get to do this battle, which I guess is inevitable anyways, because it's free money, pretty much. And Gum Gumbo is really getting up there. Gumbo is really getting up there in levels. Uh, he's, he's doing pretty good. But now we have John Cena in place of Maria to get rid of some of those bugs on our team. But I still really need to go ahead and level up our little Thirskit, which... I mean, depending on what we get, maybe next to get replaced. But I'm not completely sure yet. So we're going to put Dan back up here as he is only two levels away from evolving. Um, Machop, whoa. I almost, I almost did it. I almost did it there. Uh, I also didn't show you guys John Cena. Hexha has a neutral, not a neutral, but he's got a speed boosting nature, special defense lowering. He is um, naive. Alert to sounds, and uh, here is his move set. Plus, he's got guts, so that could be very useful um, for anyone that wants to give him a status move. I guess we'll go ahead and battle this guy right here. See what he's got. I'm strong. I won't cry if I lose. So we're gonna see what he's got uh, and uh, take him down. I I feel like Camper Larry is not very strong, and we still don't want to face off against the tail, though. Truth be told. So we're gonna have to swap, cause we don't want to deal with Camper Larry's crap right now. We do not want to deal with Camper Larry's crap. We actually have a few Pokemon that are creeping up on evolution level. Uh, and the thing about Machop is once he falls into Machoke, uh, we can do a trade evolution to get Machamp, cause I can trade myself and trade back. So I'm actually really excited about that. I'm really excited about that, cause um, Machamp can be a great Pokemon. Let's see what Camper Larry's next Pokemon is. Hopefully it's not something that can destroy my team. Probably Numel. Zubat. Uh, we're staying in. We are staying in against Zubat. I like Zubat. Zubat's cute. A lot of people hate Zubat, and I understand why. He's got a pretty bad reputation of swarming people whenever they step foot into a cave, but you know what? Zubat's a pretty good guy. I uh, approve of Zubat. Wah! I approve of Zubat wholeheartedly. Uh, there's another trainer here. Might as well fight. I was about to say, might as well fight you. When you're out on a picnic, why? You simply have to... When you're out on a picnic, why? You simply have to sing. Come on, sing with me. I will say you're gonna be singing the song, I'm a loser. Picnicker Carol. Gopil! Um... This is where confusion would have been great. Um... I guess we'll Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam move. I don't think there's really anything that can majorly do to us. We'll, we'll stay in Amnesia. Amnesia is a little bit annoying because now we're going to do way less damage. Maybe half, half that damage. It's going to inch him down. Eh, still did more than what I thought. And uh, we'll take double damage on that next time. Should be fine though. And we got poison gas, that's not fun. But you know what? Uh I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of that really quick with a petra berry. See what it goes for. Acid spray. I guess we'll go ahead and swap, because now that special defense drop is too much, and uh, Bubble Beam, unless it crits, will not kill this thing on the next turn. So... I want to go into John Cena, but he's level 16! We'll just go into Kamikaze. Kamikaze! 
Kamikaze's the great guy. Well, he was. Oh, he would have went for poison gas, anyways. Watch this. Watch this dank stuff going on right now. Watch this. Are you ready for this? Boom. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Okay, picnic or Carol. Oh, you're so strong. You're so gassy. <laughs> She had too much Taco Bell. Actually, now that I said that, I really want Taco Bell. Alright, Dan. You didn't really get a lot of uh, experience there. I may just have to have to train him at the... Ooh, you're a hiker. Oh, crap. You probably have a Machop. Probably got a Machop. Oh, Geodude. Yo, this is right up our alley. Ooh, actually sturdy. Could he one-shot us? We're gonna go for it! We gotta have balls at times. Okay, he doesn't have sturdy. I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous. Because they could have sturdy. Geodude? Geodude! 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 <laughs> if you know what I'm referencing there, let me know. Good on you. Oh, you have sturdy. Please don't kill me. Okay, magnitude. We should be able to handle magnitude nine. So to ground. Yeah! Woo! Uh, watch this. Ha ha! Only because you literally had one HP. Okay, one more level. One more level for Dan, and then he's good. John Cena's level 17. Um. I want to heal back to full. I'm a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous. I want him to go for magnitude. I don't know if this one has sturdy. I don't know if this one's got sturdy. Rock throw and he missed! Sweet. Okay. So I believe. I believe in Dan. I believe that Dan can do that. Yeah, no sturdy. That's what I thought is, uh, if I remember correctly, like... Man, my photographic memory really kicks in. I was sitting there thinking... Only one of them has sturdy, but I didn't want to be too risky. So now is our next stop, uh, the fiery path. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a pain to- I almost said chain. It's going to be a pain to deal with in here. And another thing, I should have- mm. What are we going to get? I'll put Gumbo up front because he is the highest level just in case. Crazy, push you to the edge. You know I'm poisoning.
Just wait.